So, I'm in the key of G. Of course, you know by now, if you've been watching my videos, where you can play a blues scale or a pentatonic scale. You're on the key of G. All right, I can play the G, I can play the pentatonic with the extension, without the, expen the extension. I'll recognize the jam part of this song. The song, what it is. But where else can I play it? Okay, I'm in G major. So I'm playing the pentatonic in the key of G. So, go to that G. Make the chord and just go to the G note. Go down three half steps. You're at E. Make an E minor chord. E minor is G major's relative minor. I can take the pentatonic scale or the blues scale, whatever you want to call it, for whatever key that is. I mean, whatever song it is that's in the key of G, right? And I can also play a solo in E, okay? That's how easy it is. Let's do a, a one with a relative minor. But now that we know that G, we're the key of G and the relative minor for G major is E minor. <clears throat> the four is C, of course. What's the five? That's right. In the key of G, the five is D. So we're playing a G, an E minor, a C. I got a C with a G in the bass. That's okay though. And a D. I'm in G. Playing the solo in a G pentatonic. Now I just want to mix it up a little bit. I want to play it. Right here in the pentatonic. Throw in that blue scale. All right, so I've been doing a series about, I think my first one, I did it on uh, three different chords. We, were, we did it on um, C, A, and, and E. And then I did a video on B, and I just did one on F, so... Now we've taken care of, you know, um, the basic major scales, A through G, okay? A major, B major, C major, how to find the relative minor. If it was an A major, go down three half step steps to F sharp minor. This is in the key of G. But, you know, if you're new to this, say if you're in the key of E, you know, E, when I say that, E major, go down three half steps from that note. We get the C sharp minor. That means I can play a slow solo in the E blues scale or in C sharp minor. This one's in G. G major, relative minor is E minor. So if you're tired of soloing, just in the key of the song that you're playing in, use the relative minor. Okay, you could even get away with using um, the pure, or the natural minor. My teacher used to call it a pure minor, as opposed to a pentatonic, which is just five different notes. Okay, whether it's a minor or a major. He would call it a pure major, natural major, natural minor, but we're dealing with G major, and you can use this E natural minor scale, or the pentatonic, for whatever floats your boat, whatever you feel like improvising, playing with, and it's the beautiful thing about music, the beautiful thing about the guitar. You know, I found out recently that I always thought that the modern guitar was a 
around 1870 in Spain. But they even go back a little further than that uh, uh, to like the late 1700s and they called it the, the Romantic Guitar and that had six mm -hmm. strings. And it was smaller, had about 14 frets. I mean, this is, this is a hybrid. And I have, what do I have? I should know this by now. Do I have, yeah, I have 20 frets on this. I can plug it in. Got some stickers on there that my, my daughter put on. This was her guitar, and unfortunately she stopped playing after four years, so she's let me use it, but I don't want to take off the stickers. Got her a good deal on this. But that modern guitar goes back even to the late 1700s. And before that, they called it a Baroque guitar, like the Baroque period. And it had uh, two sets of four and then one string. So it was like 11 strings. A lot of guitars had 12 strings before we came to the six string guitar. So you know, whoever invented this system, it's, it's just wonderful. There's a lot of people now are using that extra let me tell you about the broke guitar though. Again, it, it didn't have the low E. They added the low E, it had the, the high E and they added that low E. But this, you know, to quote one of the illustrious guitar players, Ken Moe, who said, if I wasn't playing the guitar, I'd be playing the guitar. So G major, E minor. So if even if we're doing Some picking. I just went from the G pentatonic into E minor. Or E pentatonic. The minor scale would be one position of playing it right there. So... That, I'm pretty much going to conclude uh, the series that I went A through G. I could, I could, maybe I'll do some flats, and maybe we'll go from minor to major, and so on and so forth. But I think that gives you a, a full understanding, some basic theory that you need to know. I stress some theory, not all theory. You get some of these great uh, jazz piano players like the Oscar Peterson, for example, and that guy was just phenomenal. I mean, oh my goodness. And he knew, he knew all the theory. And he would say, I think, that he wouldn't really think about the theory while he was playing. So you get to know some theory. You don't have to think about it while you're playing. You're just going to automatically know where to go. You know, I have uh, some options because I know um, harmonic minors, melodic minors, uh, natural minors. I know the pentatonic. I know the uh, major up and across, that's a pentatonic major. I know those scales. And so I have a lot of different options where, where, where I can, uh, you know, hear a song, know what key it's in, you know, or if I don't know what, what key it's in, I mean, I can figure it out. I don't automatically know. I, I can... Something's in G, I can, I, can, I can pick it up. I might go here first, and then, oh, yeah, I'm in G, because I can hear it. But if somebody plays that note, I don't know it. Some guitar players do. One of my teachers knew, I mean, he, he heard it, and he can just tell you all the chords, complicated chords, jazz chords, 11s, minor 7, flat 5s, 7 sharp 5s, just, you know, I don't have that gift. I guess... Um, not only a gift, but he worked a lot harder than I did, and he was a big advocate of of theory, fundamentals at least, to, to know that stuff. And he was a touring musician, you know. He got to play with second generation platters, man. And uh, I was really honored to to get to learn from him because he just was was a phenomenal player and teacher. And so I'm just trying to bestow my love of music. Uh, on to you guys, the viewers, and I just I just love doing this. You know, I'm semi-retired, I was a school teacher, and I, <clears throat> I wasn't a music teacher, I taught English, but I just really love doing this, and I hope that you guys are benefiting from this. And if you are, please like and subscribe, and keep playing and have fun.